Inside Syria, the number of al-Qaeda-linked extremists within the opposition ranks is reportedly growing. And they're not just fighting government troops, but also their former rebel allies. With the fiercest battles taking place near the Turkish border, civilians are also suffering with the ancient Christian village of Malula, just one area to fall into the hands of jihadists. RT's correspondent in Syria, Maria Fanoshina, reports. The Syrian village of Ma'alula is where the Aramaic language, believed to have been spoken by Jesus Christ, was in daily use. But not so much these days. After jihadists attacked this mostly Christian village in Syria more than two weeks ago, local residents were forced to flee the battlefield that was once their native land and calm, organized life. Many of them took refuge with Christian families in old Damascus. We tried to meet them. Only the third house opens its doors for us. Many refuse to talk because their relatives remain missing. They say Islamists kidnap people and they fear this could put them in even more danger. And these people know well about danger. Three members of Antoinette's family were killed on the first days of the Ma'alula siege. We're woken up in the morning by their shouts of a loud bar, closed the doors and all gathered in one room. They told us, surrender and we won't harm you. Antoine, Mikhail and Shadi went there and surrendered. They pointed their guns at them and started shooting. I was injured in my chest and elbow. One of them offered to save me, but I ignored him. Another one said, let them die. Hundreds gathered for the funerals of the three men who they now call martyrs both Muslims and Christians. The attack on Ma'alula village, Syrians say, was an attack on their country and its way of life. What can be their aim other than to destroy all the Christians? Both Muslims and Christians live in Ma'alula, but it's surrounded by four or five Muslim villages. Maybe they see this as the last obstacle in their path. Antoinette's father-in-law is 88 years old. He says nothing like this has happened in his lifetime. We were living in peace and now it seems they want to throw all the Christians out of the country. We pray to God that we'll defeat them and kick them out. Another relative who's afraid to show her face says it's hard to say how many people were killed in Ma'alula because militants hold in the village often keep bodies for further ransom and to instill fear. Their goal is not Assad. Their idea is to establish an Islamic emirate in all of the Middle East. However, foreign countries are helping them with weapons, money, whatever they need, helping them destroy the country and people of this region. Special sweet sanctified bread is served in the family to commemorate the dead. In church, they held special ceremonies for several days. And again, are the Syrians equally shocked to pray together for their dead and alive. The ancient language in Ma'alula united people for thousands of years. The hope now is that it can sustain them for a little longer. And all over the country, the two-and-a-half-year-long conflict is taking lives, language and shattering people's hope. Marif Noshnati from Damascus in Syria.